Welcome to a demonstration of Topaz Labs. Over the last 10 years, it's been our job to make the impossible into the possible. Now, when you can go from an image that's pretty much completely black to an image that's fully exposed, people want to see proof of it, you know, actually working. So let me do that for you. So here we are in Photoshop because our technology is Photoshop plugins. Uh, first, you're going to load up our, your original pizza picture. And please notice that this pizza picture is a JPEG. Our technology would work even better if we had raw photos, but since I'm a masochist, I start out with a worst case scenario, right? So there's my original image. Under filter, you want to just pull down to, it says Topaz Adjust. Uh, I'm going to also reset everything so you guys can work. Crank up exposure. Now, the moment I crank that up, I see the pizza, but I also see the problems, which are the noise. It's a good thing we spent the last 10 years proving to the world that noise is actually data. So let me crank up our noise reduction slightly. And now we can just watch the noise disappear. Once the noise has disappeared, I can even throw in some sharpness as well. The ability of going from an image that's pretty much completely black to an image that is fully exposed has got some revolutionary implications, <laughs> you know? So let's talk about those right now. And when I was studying photography, uh, your teachers will always tell you, don't expose for the stuff that's bright. Because if you ex expose for the things that are out the window, the things that are inside will be too dark. Well, I'm afraid my teacher wasn't exactly right. But they didn't know about topaz, <laughs> you know? So yes, you can take pictures where you're exposing for the things that are bright. And yes, all the other things in the middle are going to come up as well. Now, this also lends itself to another thing that's been happening in photography, which looks like this. Normally, I hold this up and people say it looks like HDRI, high dynamic range imaging. In this case, it's not. It's only one picture, one exposure, even though it looks like maybe multiple exposures created this effect. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with what HDRI is all about, I'll, I'll show you. What you're normally supposed to do is take a camera and then lock it down on a tripod, and you're supposed to take one, two, three, four pictures and combine it all together in Photoshop just to get that. I say, yeah, it's too much work for me. I got a better idea. <laughs> what if I only take one picture that looks like this and give you the same results? So let's compare those together. This is what happens from four exposures. This is what happens only from one exposure. Now, if you look at the four exposure version, I looked out the window and I realized that the palm leaves are blurry. The reason why they're blurry was because if I went back to those original four photos, okay, look at the outside the window. You see how the wind is moving those leaves around? Well, of course, if you take things that are moving and you combine them together, you're going to get blur. Whereas in contrast, you look at my version, it's perfectly sharp. Well, of course it's sharp. It only came from one photo. On the opposite side of the spectrum of things that are practical is things that we do that are artistic. Okay, here's my original. Here's the after. You know, and this feature is a great way of delivering these beautiful airbrushed paintings to your clients. And when you are photographing the ladies, this really comes in handy because you do want to give them this beautiful porcelain smooth skin. Now, the opposite side of the spectrum uh, is if you are photographing the men, especially if these happen to be the older gentlemen, <laughs> you really want to amplify their features. You want to amplify the wrinkles and the pores. Topaz Labs, make the impossible into the possible.